Okay, so now I'm out with my Mongolian mom and her friend and her friend's husband. And I guess we're going to get something to eat. And from there, I think maybe we'll go to their gear. Oh, yes, yes. This is restaurant? Yes. Ah, yes. restaurant. Oh. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Nice restaurant. Zamano. Whoa. So cool. So oh, they're ordering food. I have no idea what they're saying. Even her husband doesn't know. He's just looking. <laughs> He's following along. <laughs> I love that right there. It's so cool. It's so delicious. I eat that a lot in Korea. Like definitely the best thing about being in Mongolia is eating the food. So I hope we can get a lot of that today. Every day I'm drinking this milk tea and like I've gotten used to it so much that I can't have a meal unless there's milk tea. Oh, there's some, some meat in here. Wow, look at this. I don't even know what kind of food this is, but it's so big and it looks delicious. It's price. Oh, so this is the price of the food I just saw. Wow. 48,000 turik. Wow. Look at that. So I eat this sometimes in Seoul, in Korea, but it's not as authentic as it is here. Sheep intestines. Mm. Okay, we were gonna go to this Russian shop, but it's closed. And I'm just wondering, like, what do they have in there? And I never would have known this was a Russian shop because all of the buildings kind of look similar and they're all using like this Cyrillic uh, alphabet. But I guess like <laughs> there's a Russian flag here and then there's an old Soviet sign there. So yeah, <laughs> Russian shop. <laughs> oh, we can look inside and there are some like boots and like coats and camouflage gear. The lights are on. Oh, looks like they opened the store. So, wow. This is Russian store. They have a lot of like boots and things like that in here. Oh, this is cool. We got the Mongolian flag. Yo, I love these boots here. I love the style of boots. The style of boots. Wow. And they've got some old Russian style or Soviet style like winter clothes this backpack is sick yo this looks like a sniper's vest like you go outside and you're in the in the wilderness in the woods no one can see you <laughs> yo these are old binoculars i don't know why i said binoculars binoculars and these knives whoa yo is that a gun Oh, I would have never thought that they had this kind of stuff like inside of a, a random building. So like in Mongolia, it's always cool to like take a look at random buildings because you never know like what you're going to find on the inside. <laughs> Buy these, these boots because I need some for when it's raining in Korea. They're heavy, but they look good. Very quality. Let's see if they fit. <laughs> That took some. Yo, these boots actually feel pretty good. Yo, it's kind of hot. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> Very nice. The Russian army old. Old hat. Yeah. So let's see how it is on my bald head. Yeah. Yo, this. Feels good. I don't know how it looks. Where is the mirror? They don't have a mirror. <laughs> Yo, this is. <laughs> I look like an old. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yo, this hat is. It feels funny. This tank hat. Yeah. Uh, tank hat. Yo. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Yeah. Maybe small size. Yeah, I know. Maybe these small size. Small. Uh, I think this is 
more like me. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> Good. It's really snowing a lot outside, so like I'm very interested to see how Mongolians drive in the snow. Can't see anything. Wow. Same, I think. Yes. Yeah. It's uh, you know, it's cool. Like, even though there's a lot of snow on the ground, like the cars go pretty well, and everyone knows how to cross the streets like very safely. Of course, they're humans. <laughs> Look at the little kids. So cute. <laughs> very cute. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we finished lunch and now heading back to my guest house so I can chill out and get some things done so oh this artwork is sick very nice cool and I love the neighborhoods how they're set up like something you would see from an old Russian or Soviet like yes. movie or something right yes, yes, it's like Old Russian. But it looks good. It's just not what you're used to seeing in America or yeah. like Western countries. <laughs> my friend's mom is the guide for today. She's showing me how to get back to my, <laughs> my guest house <laughs> by giving me a tour of the wonderful neighborhood. I love how simple it is, you know? It's not, uh, it's not elaborate, it's easy to move around. Everything's like in a square. And like the snow just makes it look so much more interesting. Okay, now I'm gonna go to this strip of small mark, or marts, <laughs> markets. Like I wanted to go to this one here, but this one in the center is very expensive. So like if you're in Mongolia and you see small markets on the side, like in a strip like this, it's much cheaper to go and get what you need than it is to go to the markets. Even though for people who are using like US dollars or, you know, Korean won or whatever, like it's not that expensive, but still you want to save as much money as possible when you're traveling. Okay, I decided to come to this store because the bananas look very fresh. Wow, they got dried fruit here and try fruit over there I got some juice over here okay let's buy something how much are the bananas oh she's gonna show me eight thousand oh, eight thousand <laughs> it's good uh can i have can i have one uh one bunch uh one one bunch like the big <laughs> yeah one one big is eight eight thousand uh one kilogram one kilogram is eight thousand ah okay uh this how much is how many kilograms is that okay uh, one killer is ten thousand. Uh -huh. Oh, price eight thousand. Mm -hmm. Ten thousand turek. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Okay, so I got some bananas now. I think I'm looking for some like juice and Mongolian cookies. I've been trying to get Mongolian cookies for a long, long time, but never had the time to like actually sit down and eat them. So let's see if we can find them Over here. Oh, they've got a lot of shops. But I see juice. I see juice, but I don't see cookies. Where are the cookies? Maybe I need to go to the shop down here. This shop has juice. There's juice here. This shop also has juice. But unfortunately, no cookies. Let's try this shop here. Okay, we're gonna get one of these fruit juices that has like a lot of 
pulp in it and a lot of vitamins because we haven't been eating any fruit or vegetables lately. Actually, I changed my mind. Let's see if we can get another juice. This one is orange, carrot, and lemon. Oh, this one is multivitamin. I think this is the one I want right here. Okay, I think this is the store. San Manu. I think this is the store where I can find my cookies because they have a lot of snacks in here. Look at all this candy. Wow. And it smells, wow, it smells like snack store. <laughs> Yo, they've got so many wonderful Mongolian cookies. Like these chocolate chip cookies look good. Just look at all of the delicious sugary snacks. Uh, which cookies, which cookies are Mongolian cookies? No, no Mongolian cookies. These are uh, Hawa, Hawa Mok, Mak, Makka? Makka. Uh, is it Mongolian? No. no Russia. Russia cookies. Oh, ah. Mongolia, Mongolia has no cookies. No. Ah, okay. Maybe I'll try some of these uh, Russian cookies. Maybe here or here. Let's mm -hmm. So Mongolia has no cookies. No. Wow. Okay. Then I guess I'll never be able to eat any Mongolian cookies. <laughs> okay, so we stopped by at this supermarket to get some welcoming presents for our friend Tusha, who's inviting us over to her home. So we got her cake, which is here, and I better get inside because they they look they look angry because they're waiting for me to to come. Tusha, say hi. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Tuja, best driver, best driver. <laughs> wow, so this area in Ulaanbaatar is like Ger district. So many people live in Ger's here. Wow, I didn't know there was just one part of town for Ger. That is crazy. <laughs> oh, I just stepped in this huge pause oh, look at this like my feet go all the way down to the bottom oh, wow. oh that's so cool whoa look at that oh shoot so here you can see all of the it's not really gale it's like um kind of like wooden houses but they're not apartments like you will see mostly in UB in Ulaanbaatar. Step, 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 step. Whoa. Step, 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 step. Whoa. Okay, many people are waiting for me on the inside, so better get in there and stop playing around in the snow. <laughs> like even the hills around the area or capped with snow so everything looks so white and pretty and I'm not saying that white means pretty but just the snow Whoa. <laughs> okay so excuse the condensation on the lens but wow this is like a luxury gear they've got a Sofa here, dining room table, the oven. Yo, there's a dresser here and the bed. And of course, we have Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan. He is everywhere in Mongolia, as he should be. And they got a nice little TV area here. Yo, I love this gear. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm getting one. I'm definitely getting it. Okay, you see these poles? These two poles here? Like, you're not supposed to lean on them in Mongolian culture. Just walk around them or don't stand anywhere near them or you'll get in trouble. It's really bad manners. <laughs> also in Mongolian culture, the head of the household, the man sits at the head of the table. And I guess the guest sits to the left of him and the right. And I'm a guest, so I'm sitting here. And we're going to have a late tea. Oh. So there are some meat, looks like some kind of uh, intestines or 
stuff with rice and meat, potatoes, noodles. Whoa, look at that. Okay, so I'm playing this game and I think I know the rules. So this side is, this is goat, uh, goat, and this is uh, camel, uh, and this is, wait, this is sheep, and uh, this is horse. This is, this, no, 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 this is horse. Ah, this side is horse, this is mer, okay. So I have to hit. I have to hit one of the same. Like this is, ah, this one is goat. I have to hit another goat. Like here, I hit with one finger, but I pick up with the other hand. Ah, yeah. So, uh, like this, I want to hit this one and this one. Ah, I missed. <laughs> so I can't. <laughs> yeah, bitch. Okay, now there's like a, a little jet party with a lot of food and a lot of people playing games. Okay, so we got pickles, we got the Mongolian noodles, we got kimchi, we got beetroot. There's so much food here, a lot of food over there, but I've eaten all day, so I think we're going to take a break. And there's a baby. So there's one thing that you're always doing in Mongolia, especially in the Ger. You're always eating, or at least I'm always eating. Wow, so we've just finished the party and now we're back in downtown Ulan Batar. And this is Supaktar Square. You can see there's like a nice ice carving slide here for young people or anyone who wants to jump on. And there's also an ice skating rink there. And in the, in the distance, I never get tired of seeing this, I believe that is Chinggis Khan in the back. Isn't that Chinggis Khan? Yeah. In the back? Yeah. Oh man, I love this square. Oh, almost fell on my ass again. So yeah, I'm gonna head home and that just concludes our visit with a young couple who lives in a gear outside of the center of Ulaanbaatar. And uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a very nice experience. Excuse me, I'm stuttering because it's cold. But yeah, it was a wonderful experience. I was happy to see their home. I was very thankful for being invited and just, yeah, it's always a pleasure to see how everyone lives whenever I travel to different places because, you know, um, your way is not the only way of, of life. It's not the only way of living, or I should say my way isn't. Everyone has their way of living and it's good for them. So yeah, anyways, I hope to see you guys in the next one. I love you all and I hope you're staying hydrated and that you're doing something special this winter. So yeah, take care in the next one. Ciao. <laughs>